across Texas. The issue is. I'm Rudy Kosky in Austin. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. And I'm Greg Krugin in Houston. And this is Texas, the issue is. Today, the issue is double trouble. We're, now, we're not talking about the duo who played with Texas music legend Stevie Ray Vaughan, but the sour notes involving NATO and Ukraine. Texas Senator John Cornyn has something to say about that. He was here in Austin to kick off early voting, and I asked him about the uh, growing course in Congress to bail out on those two hot topics and why that idea doesn't strike a chord with him. Well, first of all, we promised to protect Ukraine's sovereignty in exchange for giving up their nuclear weapons. They, in 1994, there's something called the Budapest Memorandum, where the United States, among others, agreed in exchange for Ukraine to give up their nuclear weapons. They had the second largest stockpile in the world that, that we would uh, work with our allies to protect their sovereignty. But if you don't like the legal arguments, let me just talk about the, the, the national security argument. So we know that Putin has this illusion that he wants to restore the Soviet empire. He's fancied himself as a Peter the Great. Uh, he said, you know, the fall of the Soviet Union was one of the greatest geopolitical disasters of the last hundred years. But Putin is an ideologue, and he wants to capture some of this territory that he lost when the the Iron Curtain fell in 1991, and Ukraine is just the first step. We know that uh, because there wasn't an effective response in 2014 when he annexed Crimea, that he got the impression that I can just keep coming. Well, you know, what's after Ukraine is the NATO. Uh, countries, and we have a treaty obligation under Article 5 to come to the defense of NATO allies who are threatened by Russia or anybody else. So I believe it's in our national security. Finally, I would say that President Xi uh, over in China and, um, of course, the uh, supreme leader in Iran, um, Kim Jong-un in uh, North Korea, are paying attention. We're the most powerful nation in the world. Uh, economically and from a military standpoint. And like it or not, it's in our national security interest to do everything we can to prevent wars, not to be prepared to f just to fight a war. We want to prevent wars. And I think Reagan was right when he said that comes with peace through strength. So with that said, why support Trump after what he said about NATO and suggesting that Russia should go after the guys who don't pay up? Well, I don't take everything President Trump says literally. I take it seriously, but sometimes I think he he's set trying to make a point, and the point here was NATO countries need to step up and provide for their self-defense, and many of those countries in Europe are not doing that and need to do so. That's the point I got from what he said. Senator Cornyn went on to say there is a clear message to NATO. The way things have worked in the past are not going to work in the future. But he also made it clear he believes NATO will remain important to the strategic interest of the United States in the 21st century. It's, uh, it's critical. Um, that's the one thing that the United States has that uh, Russia does not have, that China does not have, and that is friends and allies. The United States, on the other hand, doesn't have a choice uh, where to be engaged. Without American leadership, things don't happen, and we have to pay attention to the global range of threats from Iran to Russia to China to North Korea. And uh, we can't, uh, as my friend Dan Sullivan from Alaska said, he said, deterrence is not divisible. In other words, we can't cherry pick where we're going to be involved. We need to be involved and in working with our allies, hopefully arm in arm with them making significant contributions to the mutual self-defense. Well, the word that comes to mind for me after listening to the senator is isolationism. Greg, what's your word for that interview? Yeah, Rudy, my word is actually a date, 1938. <laughs> Stephen, take us to the break with a word. All right, my word is easy, priorities. All right, I think that there are a few more words to add to all this, and the Texas Trio will be back after this to do just that.